Behold the field in which I grow my fucks and see that it is barren. When you decide to go gray, you're gonna get a lot of opinions. And the sooner you decide you don't give a fuck, the happier you're going to be. So today's video is all about not giving a fuck. Why do people seem to think that because you're older and have gray hair that suddenly you doesn't matter. There's opinions, whatever. When you're old and gray, you shouldn't wear bold colors. You shouldn't wear bold design. You shouldn't have long hair, especially if your hair's thin, especially if your hair's gray. You shouldn't have long nails. You shouldn't do any of those things because you are a woman in your mid fifties and you need to sit down and be quiet because nobody wants to hear from you. Really? The most important thing when you decide that you don't want to give a fuck is to do whatever it is that pleases you. I like a foundation that's sheer enough to show my skin, but still gives coverage. This one's by NARS, Light Reflecting Foundation. Feel free to break any rules that you want to break. Feel free to make mistakes and do your own thing. Most days, I like how I look with no makeup on, and so I don't do any makeup, and I just pull my hair back in a clip because, honestly, I DGAF. But sometimes, I like to do it up. And no matter which you choose and which you do, people are going to offer their opinions, aren't they? They're going to tell you, you shouldn't do that. You're wearing makeup? You shouldn't wear makeup you should disappear. You're not wearing makeup, you should put on a full face of makeup and change all of that situation. People have loved to share their opinions about what you should do, don't they? But the only one you need to please is you. A lifetime of allergies has left me with broken capillaries around my nose. So I find using some NARS cream concealer right around those broken capillaries really helps hide them. I do need to apply under eye concealer, but I'm not gonna bother doing that until I'm done with eye makeup because I always make just a big mess of it and have to clean it up anyway. So, let's get a little powder on. Just cause I hate staring at shine. I also hate staring at a blank face when I'm editing, so I'm gonna put on a little lipstick, which is just really a scratch lipstick. What that means is it's just there to keep me from looking dead. <laughs> sometimes I like a light lipstick, sometimes I like a natural lipstick. Today, until I get my eye makeup on, let's do something bold. We may take it off when we get crazier with eye makeup. Then again, we might not. It'll depend on how we decide we feel, cause we, a couple of weeks ago, I moved too fast and I broke my mirror. So I went back to Costco and I got a new mirror, which feels a little lighter weight than the old mirror that I used to have, but it works just as well. And uh, when you break a mirror and you don't want to have seven years bad luck, there is a remedy. I'll tell you about it at the end. I do want to apologize for these shots where my face dips down out of frame. I had not realized at the time that my chair was lowered. So it's literally cropped out and there's nothing I can do about it. So my apologies and I will do better next time. Just a little lip pencil to give me something to look at while I'm editing so I don't go, yeah, I look like a dead woman. This is uh, Joja Velvet Lip Liner and it is Bloom. Mm. 
NARS Full Dimension Cheek Palette, I'm going to go with very little color on my cheeks. I'm going with a color that is almost non-existent. I want a bold brow today. I use a Viseart Matte Neutral Palette, and I am dipping into both of these two colors to create my eyebrow shade. My eyebrows are microbladed, and they have faded with a red tint. You don't want a red tint when you have gray hair. It is the bane of my existence. So now I find that I make my eyebrows a little darker than I would had I not made such a choice. Today I'm gonna to play with the Colored Rain Power Palette because today these colors suit my mood. I may change my mind halfway through because that is also a very me thing to do. I'm gonna go in with Testify. Even with a Kleenex there, I made a mess. It doesn't make a difference. We will be getting rid of this pink lipstick. I mean, it's fun for right now, but. I don't think it's gonna work with what we are kind of trying to do here. Let's go for some truth. 
because they say that when you get older, you should not wear shimmery colors. And yeah, that may be true, but also, I don't give up. It's honestly some really horrible eyeshadow, <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Just remember, it's only makeup. It washes off. Feel free to make ghastly mistakes. Feel free to wear garish colors. Feel free to do anything you want. It's only makeup. Oh, and that's some really bad eyeshadow. Okay, let's fix it. I'm going to my Walhalla palette, uh, which is Juvia's Place Walhalla palette. And remember how I went with like a nothing blush? I'm gonna go with this sort of nothing color right here called Pride, because I find that when I get a little too crazy with the other colors, that helps. That tones that down a little bit. Get that fun going again. Now that we've toned it down a little too much. but definitely don't do this eye with this lip. It's a little much. Going in with just a nice nude lip color as something a little more calming with this purple eyeshadow because that pink's just a bit too bright. We're gonna line inside the eye on the upper lid with black liner. Tight lining, which I always do, and a lot of you don't care to. And if you don't like tight lining, then don't do it. I like it. It works for me because I can't see well enough to do a decent eyeliner. Does that stop me from doing it? No, but I messed it up a lot. Go back with the Walhalla palette, the Juvia's Walhalla palette. Let's go with this, hmm, no, let's go with this lighter purple, this Unafraid. Isn't that perfect when, for when you decide you don't give a fuck, right? Go with Unafraid, be unafraid. Make the mistakes. Paint with bold strokes. Oh yes.
Now let's do a little cleanup under the eyes and then let's get some curls in the hair. I like using a little micellar water for my cleanups. And it's also why I have not yet put any concealer under the eyes because I knew I'd be needing to do this. So now it looks like I've been in a fight. Yay! Using the NARS Cream Concealer. Get a little highlight on those eyes and then get to work on the hair and then we'll finish up the eyes. The hair is going to be the fun part. I'm not curling my hair with any particular rhyme or reason. I really just want to give it some texture and body and honestly, a little chaos. Because while some people want things to be clean and orderly and neat and perfect all the time, I don't give a fuck. I did use a heat protectant on my hair prior to starting. I sprayed it in my hair before it was dry. We want chaos, we want bedlam, we want anarchy with our hair. Yeah, when I take these curlers out, it's not going to be pretty. It's giving me some texture. You know what? Let's get a little more curl over here. Thank you. 
Okay, let's let that set up while I work on the rest. We're gonna highlight the eyes a little bit. Going with this white color, which is a very blue cast to it, which I think will be fun. I think I want to go full smoky eye. I think I want to do it. Gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Let's get some lashes on. Everything looks better with lashes. A little bit of liner. Let's hit that with a little bit of mascara. Almost there. These are Ardell Lashes, number 213, black. These are actually, when I was on the movie, um, uh, Glass of Revenge, I hate to say that because the title's gonna change. Check out this trailer for Glass of Revenge. Gonna be coming to Lifetime sometime in May, I believe. Anyway, we had I had different lashes every day. Different set, same lashes. But they gave them to me at the end, so it's nice that I have lashes that are all pre-sized for me that I don't have to cut. They're all, all saved from that shoot. The title for Glass of Revenge, from what I understand, will be changed to Revenge is Best Served Chill. Revenge is Best Served Chill. So that will be coming to Lifetime sometime in May, and I will, of course, be telling you all about it. Lashes always make the look, don't they? I am using Duo Quick Set Lash Adhesive. I did not like it at first, but I have grown to like it. So many times we try something new and our immediate response is, oh, I don't like it, it's different. It's new, I don't like it, I like it the old way. I don't want it to be the, give it a chance, like I said. I did not like this glue at first. I felt that it didn't give me enough setup time, but I have really grown to like this lash glue. Now watch me completely blush, botch this eye and have a hissy fit.
Yes, there I did botch it. However, I will not have a hissy fit because a hissy fit does not quite go along with not giving a fuck, right? Oh, and all, I know a whole bunch of people are going, her language, her language. I'll put a disclaimer on this video. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm not, I'm in a good mood. But sometimes I just feel like people worry about too many things and makeup. It's not something you need to worry about. It washes off. Have fun. Be creative. Make mistakes. Don't give a flying fuck. Let's get to the fun stuff now. We need highlight. We definitely need highlight. Highlight with my usual highlighter, Urban Decay in Sin. And I am in the mood for super blingy. A little bit just on the upper lip. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's take out all of these curls. and play with the chaos. Which I know sounds contrary to everything you think about with hairdressing, where you want things to work out, but I want you to embrace the chaos. because we're at the age, we don't care. We don't have to follow the rules. Who originated, who started breaking the rules anyway? It was us back in the day. We've never been rule followers. Let's get a little dry shampoo in there just to give it a little more texture. Get your fingernails in there. Use your fingernails. And we're gonna take all of this chaos. Grab your Stop a Burden Flight hairspray.
One of the joys of cotton candy hair is it does defy gravity. And all you gotta do is just curl it, tease it, spray it. And if you go for no rhyme or reason and absolute chaos, it can actually look kind of amazing. And just play. Now remember, if it feels like hair, it's not gonna stay. Okay, let's get some proper lips on. I've played with purple lipsticks before and I'll tell you that a purple lipstick does not look pretty. So this is a gloss that is very purple. It's by uh, Jaden Madison. It's called Spirit is this color. I'm going to use my palette and just apply some of that to the palette. And then here is a NARS lip gloss that is just a gold shimmer. A little bit of a purple tint, but not too much. And let's bring that gold shimmer onto that. And there we go. Breaking all the rules. Old ladies shouldn't wear shimmery eyeshadow. We shouldn't grow our hair long. It should always be neat and tidy. And we should definitely wear clothes that don't clash. They should everything be very, very tasteful. But sometimes you don't give a fuck. Break the rules. Rules are meant to be broken. Don't listen to Anybody telling you what you should do, you do what you want to do. D-G-A-F. Oh, and by the way, when you break a mirror and you don't want seven years bad luck, pee on the shards. Hey, I don't make this stuff up, you know, but I will say it works. I love you bunches. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Sorry for the bad language. Except that sometimes you don't give a fuck.